Welcome to OpenMRS University. We've just moved our bundled modules over to GitHub from Subversion, and we'll shortly be moving our core code base there as well. So today, we're going to walk through the right way to contribute code to OpenMRS using Git. So just like in the old world, the first step is, of course, to pick the work that you're going to do and claim that ticket. So here, I've just got an example, a ticket that requires some small UX improvements in the metadata sharing module. So I have claimed this ticket already. I'm ready to get down and work on it. The next step is that I need to fork the metadata sharing modules code from OpenMRS's GitHub account into my own. So you'll see here I'm looking at OpenMRS's OpenMRS module metadata sharing. This, by the way, is our new a suggested naming convention for OpenMRS modules so that we'll be able to find them in um, in Git repositories other than just our own. So, all right, I'm looking at the OpenMRS core uh, version of, of the metadata sharing module, and I'm going to click fork over here. And I will fork this to djazieri to my own GitHub account. So. Obviously, an assumption here is that you have already created that account and you've already got Git running on your local machine, which I'm not going to walk through today. So here we go. Now you see that this is djazieri, my version, my fork of the metadata sharing modules code. All right. So the next step, oh, and obviously, this clone in Mac is great if you're an OSX user, and um, I highly recommend using GitHub's client, but I'm not going to use that right now. Um, so we can see the more general way of doing this. So um, the next step is to clone this code to my local machine. So I'm in fact going to copy this command here. Um, the URL, incidentally, is what I would get from here over HTTP and read write access. Um, all right, so I will clone this to my local machine. And um, I also want to make sure that I add the um, the original code, or add an upstream remote link to the original uh, metadata sharing code um, on OpenMRS. And you know, for the most part, this is a copy-paste job. Every time you get something from GitHub, you'll want to do almost exactly the same thing. Um, oh, sorry. I actually need to cd into the right directory. Now I can run that command, git remote add upstream, and give it the URL. All right, so now I'll be able to pull in future changes that come, that happen uh, on the uh, core, on the main branch, or on the main fork of the module um, as I write my code. All right. Now I'm going to import the code into my IDE. You're welcome to use whichever one you want, but I'll show Eclipse here. And note that I have all of the relevant plugins already installed as described on our wiki pages. All right, so I'm going to go to File, Import, and I want to uh, get an existing Maven project, or existing Maven projects. And I now need to browse and find the directory where I have this stuff. So in my case, that is uh, git repositories, OpenMRS module metadata sharing. Select that folder. Um, it finds all of the Maven subprojects here. Um, just uh, because of the way I have this set up, I want to add this to my university working set. All right, so here I go next and finish. And um, Eclipse will import these projects and build them. So shortly they'll show up over here in my Project Explorer. 
All right, here we go. Um, and the next thing I want to do is select all of these. And I want to go to Team, uh, right click, Team Share Projects, or Share Project. I choose Git. And there's a convenient option here to use or create repository in parent folder or project. So I just leave that selected, hit finish, and that's all configured. So just as a side note, that's really much more convenient than um, trying to use an SCM plugin to uh, that has to integrate with the M2E um, Eclipse plugin. So. There are other ways to get the code. I recommend checking it out at, or cloning at, at the command line, importing it as an existing project, and then sharing it like this from within Eclipse. All right, so the next step is to create a branch for this specific work. So in this case, I'm going to choose to name this branch after the JIRA ticket ID that I'm going to work on. Um, you can choose to do that, or if you're trying to do some work that spans multiple tickets, you might want to give it a name um, with, well, name it according to the functionality rather than the tickets. But in this case, I will now say git branch meta 238. Um, if I say git branch again, it'll show me that I'm still on the master, so I git checkout meta 238. All right. At this point, I get to write the code. So I'm going to stop the recording and do that so you don't have to watch me typing. Be back in a sec. All right, I have gone ahead and written the code, as you can see in my IDE. I'm going to show you what it would look like if I set to commit the code from Eclipse, but then I'm not actually going to do it this way. Um, so we can walk through to the command line. So Eclipse will show me a nice dialog that lets me um, put in my commit message and choose which files I want. Typically, this is what you'll do. Um, but for the moment, uh, for um, educational purposes, I'm going to go through and do this at the command line. So, so I'm going to check in my changes. All right. Um, so what I can do at this point is say git status. And this will show me that I've got three separate modified files. Um, I could add, I can manually add these one by one by saying git add and then giving the path to each of those files one by one. Um, or since in this case I know that I don't, uh, every change that is here is something I want to commit, I can say commit, uh, git commit, git commit dash a which will add all of these files automatically. So git commit dash a, and I'm going to give a message. Um, and what was the message? Let's say UX improvements to choose import mode. Um, UX improvements to choose import mode meta 238. So that has now been committed to my local clone of the git, to my local git repository. All right. So the next step is that I need to push these changes up. Right at the moment, they're only on my computer, my my laptop that I'm recording this on. Um, I need to push those changes up to GitHub. So I'm going to say git push origin, which is origin refers to where I checked out the code from, or where I cloned the code from, namely my GitHub repository. And meta238 is the branch name. So git push origin meta238. At this point, um, I'm not really sure why I don't have my username and password configured correctly, but here we go. So. Um, all right, so it tells me that, among other things, it has um, created a new branch remotely on GitHub called Meta238. All right, so the next step at this point, um, I can, for one, I can look at this, uh, look at what happened here. I can refresh my view of my GitHub page. Um, and right now I'm looking at the branch master, but if I hit the drop down here, I'll see there's actually another, this Meta238 branch available. So if I click on that, 
I'll see this commit that I did a minute ago. So what I would like to do now is basically ask Raphael, the owner of the metadata sharing module, to pull the code I've written into the main for or the main uh, branch, the main fork, I guess, of metadata sharing. So GitHub makes this pretty easy. I'm just going to click pull request up here. Um, so the base, right, where I want this to go to is the master of the OpenMRS metadata sharing module. And I want to take it from um, my own metadata sharing fork and um, the head of the Meta238 branch. All right. So I don't really have anything in particular to say here. Um, you know, I can say, well, please <laughs> import my code. Now, in fact, uh, yeah, um, you know, let me actually say something intelligent here, at least say, um, see that ticket. All right, so I send the pull request. All right, now, since I happen to also be an administrator on um, this project, I can actually see this pull request myself. Um, I'm not going to click on this, but just so you know, this is what um, the owner of the module will see when they are looking at the pull request that you've, um, well, that you've submitted. So I guess I can... Well, I won't click that. I don't remember if it does it automatically. And um, so the one last thing I need to do is go back to the ticket itself. And sorry, going. Uh, let me copy this URL here for the pull request and say um, workflow committed code. I can say a couple things. I can say pull request at that URL and I actually also want to go back to um, this commit itself and I want to take its um, its uh, I forget what you call one of these things it's MD5 sum I think it is and say committed at rev that on Dejazayeri's fork We haven't actually figured out quite, I think, how we want uh, to integrate GitHub and pull requests with Jira here, but for the moment, it's probably a better idea to be duplicative of information like this. And, you know, just um, I noticed that I forgot to mention how long I spent on this, so let's say, um, say I spent an hour ish, say I spent 30 minutes, and the remaining time is zero. All right. So that's just for bookkeeping. All right. So um, at this point, I have gone through. I've picked up a ticket. I have cloned, or I've forked the relevant modules code base. I've cloned it to my local machine. I have uh, written the code and made the changes to a branch. And I have pushed that branch back up to GitHub and sent a pull request to the owner of the module to, to, um, to, well, to pull in my code. So it's actually quite a few more steps than the equivalent process in Subversion, but in the long run, this actually works better and is more scalable. All right. And with that, um, catch you guys on another OpenMRS University.